It is officially Halloween time here, and we're here with the big boss himself, Mickey Mouse. Look at his costume, though. Look at that costume. All right, at least I think I know what I'm gonna be for Halloween this year, right? <laughs> Good seeing you, Mick. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Bye. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another vlog. And today, we're here at Disneyland. But we're not here for just Disneyland, we're here for DCA too because it is the start of the Halloween season here at the Disneyland Resort. All I know is I'm excited because you guys know that Halloween is my favorite time of the year. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a few of the drinks, a few of the treats, and of course, all the other stuff that they have to offer. We're gonna go on Haunted Mansion holiday for sure. That's gonna be the first thing we're gonna do right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and see what else we get ourselves into. So if you guys are ready, make sure to slap that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's get ready for a Disney filled day. Now the first thing that we're noticing as we walk in is the brand new flower display that they have here, which is Mickey like in a bandana, kind of looking like Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles. I don't know about this one, man. I mean, it's, it's all now, it's all AstroTurf, so it's actually no grass, but it's just, I don't know. We have made it over here to Galactic Grill because we're gonna be picking up something called the Oktoberfest inspired burger. I thought I was gonna call it the Oktoberfest-ish burger. And there's a whole lot of like toppings on it, so we're gonna go check it out and see what it's all about. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Oktoberfest inspired burger. So this has uh, like a burger patty. It's got uh, bratwurst on it, sauerkraut, cheese sauce, I guess tomatoes. Onions, and, bell peppers. And it's on a pretzel bun. The presentation isn't all that nice, but I mean, it sounds good and it comes with fries too. Yeah, so. it sounds good. It sounds good. So Crystal's gonna be the guinea pig and she's gonna try it first. I just wanna point out <laughs> that Crystal tried to cut the burger with two forks. <laughs> two forks. I wasn't paying attention. Two forks, Crystal. It is already 11 and 19. You can't even say that you're tired anymore, okay? I'm tired. Oh my God. And so Crystal's gonna try it. Can we get a little cross section to uh, feel that? All right, that's actually a pretty thick patty. Thick with uh, the wake. Thick with three C's, huh? Eh? Yeah. Eh? Verdict? That's good. It's actually really good. Is it juicy? It yeah. looks a little dry, but... No, it's juicy. Okay. What do you taste the most? Um, the meat. That's what she said. <laughs> the bratwurst and like the cheese sauce. Okay. Do you taste much of the sauerkraut? No. Do you, try, but I, didn't, I don't know if I got it in my bite. Okay, so you tasted it in that bite? Yeah, that's good. Are you a fan of sauerkraut? This is my first time having it. Are you serious? Bro, sauerkraut like at Oktoberfest, like with like the hot dog and stuff, so good. Well, it's good in here. All right, well, would you give it a slap? Yeah. That, that's your slap? What am I supposed to do? Don't, don't <laughs> slap yourself. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot over here after Crystal tried slapping herself. <laughs> Ooh. It's good. Now, would you give it a slap? Oh, this is an instant slap, bro. This is so it's good. so good. I taste the cheese sauce. I taste mustard. There's definitely mustard mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. I taste the sauerkraut. And then, of course, I taste the char of the burger. This is fantastic. This is without a doubt a slap. It was one bite slap for sure. Mm -hmm. Pick this up. This is good. Just don't slap yourself like Crystal. <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna head down Main Street to go see what characters we can find because I heard that some of these characters are all dressed up in their spooky costumes. Okay, so I've seen there is Mickey out here, there is Minnie, there's Chip and Dale, there's Donald, and there's Goofy. I haven't seen Daisy, I haven't seen Pluto, so we're gonna go and see who we can get a line for so we can get some pictures with them. All right, guys, I'm here with the cutest cat mouse ever. Uh, I really don't know, it's a cat mouse, right? Okay, well, that works, okay. And she's ready to basically celebrate Halloween with everybody. Happy Halloween, guys! <laughs> we got Goofy. We got Donald. But I, uh, Goofy, I actually have a question for Donald. What happened to your head, Donald? I'm a little worried about that. Somebody took a bite, Somebody out, of took a bite out of it. Oh well. <laughs> it is officially Halloween time here, and we're here with the big boss himself, Mickey Mouse. Look at his costume, though. Look at that costume. All right. At least I think I know what I'm going to be for Halloween this year, right? <laughs> Good seeing you, Mick. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Bye, <laughs> So I'm here with Chip, and I'm uh, actually a little upset because I heard that somebody ate all the candy. Somebody <laughs> ate all the candy. Is I mean, Scarlett, you, you can show everybody right here. Like, if you can see, all the candy is somewhere up in here. You didn't even send me like a lollipop or anything, Chip? <laughs> Man. Oh, there's a lollipop. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're just holding that one like on reserve, huh? Okay. Now I know. You know, I'm gonna go see if Dale has any candy for me because uh, I thought he was, you know, 
Oh, oh he's, oh, he's crazy. And his breast smells? Chip told me that you, well, he actually told me a couple of like, one, that you're crazy. Yeah, he said that. Two, that your breath smells. And your brother's playing you, bro. I mean, he, he said it. It's on film. We all got it on camera. But you know what? Oh, he, what about him? What about him? Uh-huh. Oh, he doesn't. Yeah, he's got that stank. Okay. But the main Dale. question is, where's the candy at? It's right there. He stuck it right to his shirt. He thought, you know what? This Halloween, instead of taking the candy, we're gonna wear it. Oh, I thought you ate it. So that's so we can get some of that later? Oh, okay, okay. This whole later. Time, yeah, yeah, later. This it's whole still, time it's still a little bit sticky. Oh, uh, it's because it's hot. Yeah. It's melting, you know, it's yeah, a little, right, got right. it, okay. Well, you know what? I don't believe anything your brother says about you. You're one of the coolest cats I know, okay? He is the best chipmunk after all. Yeah, we got a pound. <laughs> We're super lucky to be able to catch the uh, Dapper Dan's over here, too. Nice and spooky and orange. Okay, so made it back. We actually went home, took a little nap. Well, I did. And I brought my sister now, so I got Scarlett with me. I did a little wardrobe change because it was too hot. But you guys saw, we walked in and immediately saw Chip and Dale. And those brothers definitely fight each other. I don't know how they live in one treehouse. Over here in Frontierland, they also have the Zocalo Park, which kind of has like Dia de los Muertos type of theme. I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I don't know for sure, but I will ask, I'm assuming this is where you can do like a Coco meet and greet or possibly maybe in Canto or something like that. I guess we'll ask and we'll find out. Just confirmed, Miguel from Coco does come out here and then uh, Mirabel from Encanto comes out here. So if you're looking for either of those characters, you can meet them here in this area, for Zocalo Park. Not Scarlett, she's not a meet and greet. Who says I can't be? <laughs> so earlier this morning, I actually did a live stream for about three hours when I got to the park, all the way to like, we went through Haunted Mansion, we did a whole wide through and everything. And we even tried this new churro that they have that's right outside the mansion. It's like a sour cherry lemonade or sour cherry or something like that and pistachio. So I'm going to answer that clip right now so you guys can see it. And then after that, we're actually going to re-ride the Haunted Mansion and bring you guys along with us. To kick off money, the Halloween time snacks and food, we're going to be trying the pistachio cherry churro. It's right in front of the Haunted Mansion holiday. Look at all the details on this thing. And it comes with a ghost pepper grape sauce. I don't know about this one, but I guess we'll see. So it's time to uh, officially try these churros. I'm not happy about it. Crystal just tried it. She said that the the Patrick Star one was actually pretty good. She said the SpongeBob was not that great, so I'm gonna take her word for it, but we're gonna try it. But she said the grape jelly was actually pretty tasty, so we'll see. It was. First one is the pink. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's sugary. Ooh! It's sour? That is very sour, very sour cherry. I mean, that's gonna wake you up for breakfast. Let's go ahead and try the jelly, but I'm gonna like dip it, bro. <laughs> Nothing, I didn't drop any of this. I'm gonna dip it because you barely even dipped it. You gotta get like a full dip on that, you know what I'm saying? Full dip. It's when you dip, we dip. Ooh, I can taste the heat. Right, but, but it's it, not too it's, strong. No, it's a thousand percent bearable. It's good. That's delicious. That jelly's good. They should yeah. put it with something else though, not the churros. See, I'm not a really a peanut butter and jelly fan myself in general. But I would definitely like hog down some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with this kind of jelly. Yeah. That's good. It's good. Let's go ahead and try the pistachio <laughs> one, which you said was terrible. <laughs> Did it taste like pistachio or no? Very fake, fake pistachio. Fake pistachio? Fake pistachio. Fake pistachio? Like artif artificial pistachio. <laughs> artificial? <laughs> artificial. <laughs> artificial. All right, here we go, y'all. Artificial pistachio. It's not bad. It's bad. It, I, I just taste a churro. I don't taste but do you anything. taste pistachio? No. Lick it or something. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and give it a full dip. A nice little dippy dip. It doesn't taste bad. I don't know what you taste, but it's it, disgusting. It just tastes like a regular churro. I taste so much more of the cherry versus the pistachio mm -hmm. than anything. Yeah. But 
I would say it's not bad. I thought it was gonna taste terrible, but would I give it a slap? It's more like a little tap, you know, a little. No. Just the sauce was good. I think just the sauce. Yeah, was this good. is a slap for sure. If yeah. I could just have this with something else, something, I would totally. A pretzel, totally eat that. a pretzel, something, something savory. A pretzel. Yes. You want to put jelly on a pretzel? A cream cheese pretzel. Ooh. You're welcome, everybody. We're gonna save that sauce and try it with something else. Dude, I'm down to go get a I'm pretzel down. right now. I'm down. All right, cream so cheese pretzel. stay tuned. We might do that. We have made it to the front of Haunted Mansion Holiday. Now, I actually did a Genie Plus reservation, or I guess booking earlier this morning for about three something. And I just peeped the line, and I gotta show you guys this. Check this out. And that was the lightning lane line. But luckily it's moving pretty quick. And luckily I had Scarlet waiting in line so I didn't have to wait all the way in the back, but it's pretty long. It's, why are you looking at me like that? Weirdo. Also, we're uh, here celebrating Scarlet's birthday. Scarlet's birthday is tomorrow as we're filming this video. And uh, I gotta say, it's been crazy seeing this little one grow up, man. She's still as ugly as when she came out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Was the nightmare before Christmas and all through the house. I said this earlier in my stream, but in case anybody doesn't know, the band from Night Before Christmas is actually behind the curtains right there. And I always love seeing this every single year. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, ride through of the Haunted Mansion holiday overlay. Scarlett was actually doing a live stream on my Instagram. So if you heard her talking, that's why she was talking. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. But I think now we're gonna head to DCA because we are hungry. You hungry? Yes, we are. We hungry. The time has come for us to park hop over to DCA to visit our friend, Mr. Ooger Booger. <laughs> because it's time for us to eat, right Scarlett? I'm hungry. We hungry. So we're gonna see what we can get ourselves into, see what kind of food we can uh, pick up. There's a lot of spicy things. Like DCA is like, has all the spicy food. I don't know what it is with spicy this year, but it's like everything's ghost pepper, like habanero. Even the drinks have it. So we're gonna see what we can find without burning our tongues too much. Hello, Oogie Boogie. It's a pleasure to see you. Now, oh. Don't tell me you're passing by without saying. I was saying hello. If you don't let me finish, rude interrupting. Anyways, it's nice to see you now that Halloween has actually started. We have our beloved Headless Horseman here. Now, considering that it's not sundown yet or dark, he is not on, so there's no smoke, there's no lights, there's no laughter, but I'm pretty sure once the sun goes down, we'll be able to see him in full action. We have made it over to Award Wieners because we're gonna pick up a hot dog. It's like a spicy pulled pork hot dog. Not too sure what to expect, but it looks pretty good, sounds pretty good, so we're gonna try it and we'll let you know if it actually is good. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the spicy pulled pork hot dog, the foot long hot dog. This is a very big weenie. That's what she said. <laughs> 
But this looks delicious, it smells delicious. I'm really excited to try it. And it also comes with the film strip fries, which are some of my favorite here at Disneyland. So let's go ahead and dig into this. I'm really excited for it. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna eat this, especially because how big the hot dog is. Probably gonna have to take like multiple bites, so here's to the first one. All right, guys. The pulled pork is great. The hot dog is fine. That uh, pineapple relish, it is so hot. Like, instant burn. And most of you guys know I not I'm not good with like heat. It's really spicy for me, Scarlett. I'm warning you now. It's hot. It's pretty hot, but it's like oh. it's a good hot. Yeah. As long as I have something near me, I should be fine. To drink? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good so would you give it a slap? I'll give it a slap. Slap. Hell yeah. I'm gonna give it a slap too. The only thing, like I said, to me, it's really hot. So if you're not you know, too good with the heat, then don't get it. But if you can take the heat, pick it up. But like I said again, that's ace. We just finished the hot dog and we're actually in pain because the heat definitely creeps up. It creeps up, Scarlett's uh, lower lip is burning. My whole inside my mouth is still on fire. And uh, it was still good. It was still very tasty, but it was not the business with the spice. Yeah. The spice was not it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, roar our way this this fire that we have in our mouth by screaming on guardians was that that was not a good segue that that one kind of sucked anyways we're gonna go on guardians because it's monsters after dark all right disney does warn you guys that this attraction may be frightening for children if you've never been on this it's definitely one heck of a ride but some kids might find it scary like scarlet a gantry lift full of warm parents makes a really great distraction. I just need you to wave your arms, scream, whatever it takes, and then all these things will, uh, never mind. And look delicious. Look delicious, huh? some of the Halloween decorations here. Nothing I don't think has changed much. It's all pretty much the same. They got like the Halloween tires. They have the uh, spider webs on flows. They have like the cones and the teeth right there hanging across. They have this store, which is still not open, decorated. They have the zombie car right over there. And then towards the back over here. So they have all that decorated like with the like eyes in the houses and stuff like that too. We made it over here to the Paradise Garden right next to Goofy's. I just want to show you guys during the Halloween season that they also have a Coco meet and greet right here. But this is like the uh, ventriloquist, the uh, what, what is it called when they're, oh the puppet. He's like a puppet, Miguel. So he's not an actual oh, yeah. character. But yeah, they have this available too if you want to come over here. And then when they're not here, you can just come and take pictures with like the recuerdo that they sign. That has like all like the, uh, the ofrenda that they have. And sure enough, they have the whole show coming right now. Hello everyone. Hola amigos. walk by but apparently he doesn't come out until like a little bit later in the show so he'll come out just not right now 
So off to Disneyland we go because it's firework time. As we make our way back to the hub of DCA, I see Goofy over there dressed as a ghost or like a bandit or something like that. And then I noticed, which I don't know if they've ever done this before, the projections on Carthay. I thought they only do this during Oogie Boogie, so the fact that they're going to keep this on during Halloween is fantastic. I like it because the projections look great. But I got to say, these purple lights look even better. We had to make our way over here towards the Hellas Horseman now that he's lit up and the smoke is coming out of the horse's mouth and stuff like that and the head. This is probably one of the coolest things that they have here besides like the projections, the lights and everything that's at Cars Land too. God man, I love Halloween. We've made it back to Disneyland and the crowds are definitely forming. The fireworks are going to start in about half an hour. But we got Mickey Blinky over there. We got all of the Halloween bunting. And now we just got to get ready for Halloween screams over at the castle. Alrighty, so after the fireworks we came over here to Tomorrowland. My queen, I, I apologize, let me, I'll just bow down a little bit. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness, friends, thank you so much for joining us on this villainous evening. Out, what? Out, behind, out. Now we step touch, but this time I want you to walk like a mummy, like this. I don't know about you, Scarlett, but I feel like a lot of people were confused during that show. Like there was a lot of steps, there was a lot of claps, there was a lot of finger movements. I was expecting like a little bit more of a beat than that. Like, yeah, I was expecting some dancing and it's like they're playing Dolly Parton right now. Like, I don't know what's going on. I thought we were just going to be free. I was about to do flips on the floor and all that, but he was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> You're going to do flips? Yeah, I'm going to do flips. I would have loved to see that. Well, uh, I kind of forgot to do the outro inside the parks just because I'm pretty beat. Scarlett, you're, you're tired too, huh? Very. So we're we're toast, guys. We spent, well, I spent most of the day at the park. Scarlett got there a little later, but still, like, being in the sun. Been walking the whole yeah, day. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you how many steps I'm at right now, but I am uh -oh. tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Scarlett home. I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna crash because we have a busy weekend ahead of us because we are celebrating my monkey's birthday tomorrow. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We've got a little bit of the Halloween food. Um, we're gonna be doing more Halloween food, more Halloween treats, more Halloween drinks in the next coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe so you guys have that information ready. If you guys can do me a favor, if you guys can, in the comment section, tell Scarlett, happy birthday. I wanna see this comment section lit up with happy birthday for Scarlett. And yeah guys, with all that being said, once again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to slap that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications, and don't forget to put a comment down below saying happy birthday to Scarlett. If you guys are not following me on social media, everything's under I am Chris Rogers. If you guys are not following me on Twitch, that's also under I am Chris Rogers. And with all that being said, we'll catch you on the Lippy Whippy. Peace.